Yeah. So let's begin our usual warm up routine. Just going to start turning from the waist. Okay, so stand with the knees gently bent, back nice and straight, arms hang down by your sides. This crucial idea, draw mind back, it's this kind of idea of everything out there distracting you. Now, we take ourselves back to the center of the head, from the center of the head, draw down into the center of the chest, center of the chest, draw down deep inside the belly. The chi home, Settle yourself in the chi home. All of the exercises are generated from lower down tian, from the belly. So with this in mind, gently turn to one side, but in the belly make the turn. So the central part of the body moves and then the spine responds and then eventually the shoulders respond and the arms respond. We release the whole exercise and off we go. And curls around the body, palms open up and tap gently onto the side. You feel that thump on the small of your back, satisfying thump as a vibration goes through the lower cavity. I was having a very interesting conversation yesterday with a lady who works with um, troubled youth. And in passing, she just made a very interesting comment. She said, in my opinion, young men explode, young women implode. I thought, gosh, that was a really, really interesting observation. Young men have a tendency to, yeah, really explode outwards, violence, uh, shouting, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Young ladies tend to go inside. Neither of those dynamics hurt the body and can leave lasting marks, as it were, scars. And of course, we have tendencies to do both things, explode and implode, uh, because I think that just to say that men explode is wrong because they often go deep inside and get a bit lost there as well. And women can explode quite happily as well, but the tendency is towards men exploding, women imploding, and the scars that can be left by those things. I thought it was a very interesting comment, really. I thought about the the particularly the inward damage that we can do to ourselves and the structures that support that. So those structures are the things that we work with so closely, the patterns that we have to dissolve. The most effective is to find a trigger what triggers you? Why did that make you cross? Why did that upset you? Who is that attached to?
And so working with one of my clients, we were talking about a relationship that had had uh, caused an awful lot of pain. And I asked the question, why, you know, why did that happen? Where did that come from? And uh, the person said to me, how do you mean? I sort of said, whose, you know, pain was that? So well, it was definitely you know, the, the person that they were in a relationship with. But is that really the root of it? And it was looking back a bit more and then, was that part of your father's story as well? Yes, it was. Was that part of your grandfather's story? Yes, it was. So we can see this kind of lineage and uh, we hear about people choosing their partners because they feel familiar, be it bad or good, you know, the same sort of um, thing from generation to generation being carried through. So my friend, Dr. Rosie, she used to say, yeah, it's not about just about DNA. There's also the family story, which is just as powerful as DNA, something carried from generation to generation. My grandmother had, you know, um, lung cancer. My mother died of lung cancer, and I'm sure it'll get me. That's a sort of an incredibly powerful story that really has no basis in fact. It's the power of the story. And so from a genetic perspective, there are, um, let's take, for example, the BRCA gene, which everybody talks about in breast cancer. I was fascinated when the news told us that Angelina Jolie had decided to have a double mastectomy just because her mother had had that gene. So um, I think that genes, you know, are just little light switches. If you don't switch the switch on, then the light doesn't come on. It's as simple as that. And so the question is, how would you stop yourself from expressing a gene that's expressed itself from generation to generation? Well, that would be living a different life to your parents, behaving in a different way to your mother. And, uh, or are you just going down the same, um, the same pathway that she went down? Uh, let's say, you know, marrying the wrong person, um, being submissive, uh, being, um, I don't know, you know, mistreated, whatever it is. And then you have to look back at yourself and say, have I done the same things? Uh, I suppose another thing might be n not having a very healthy diet, you know, always eating sugar, always eating, uh, always drinking, perhaps, you know, father always drank a lot. So I drink a lot. You know, these kind of patterns that reflect down the ages, that if you make a change to them, they can make every difference in your body. And so just to say, in Angelina Jolly's case, uh, that gene happened to my mum, it's going to happen to me, I think is a very unwise piece of thinking. And I'm sure most of you do surgery is a ridiculous thing to request a very Hollywood thing. But I think all of you would agree with me that if we can avoid surgery, it would be the best idea entirely. So that would require you to live a lifestyle that respected your genetic makeup and didn't go ahead and trigger it. But it would also require you to have a lifestyle that didn't spend the entire time thinking about the problem and its potentiality. Because in Janang Qigong, we have this idea, of course, the more you think about something, the more you're sending power to it. So in order to look at those things, in order not to take on those patterns, we have to change our lifestyle and think about it from a very deep perspective. And you guys have done this already because you've actually, you know, you're doing Qigong. That's a step that, you know, your parents never took. You're looking at these patterns, which is a sort of a Chinese psychology, I suppose. You're thinking about these things, which are the steps that parents never take and, you know, the generations before. And so all of those have already, you've already taken amazing steps to take yourself away from the, the family patterns. I'm already, you know, I've been asking for weeks, months, years for you to look at the things that trigger you, to find the emotions that 
fire things off in your body and to ask, where does that pain come from? Why did that upset me? Oh yeah, okay, I can see that. I can see that was a pattern of my father. You know, I can see that was a pattern of my mother. That just reminds me of my grandmother, you know, whatever it is. And so my pattern always used to be my driving and I'd see someone, you know, somebody would cut me up and I'd, oh, bloody hell, swear, you know. And then I think to myself, gosh, you sound just like your father. And I realized that, that was something learned, you know, from years of sitting in a car, watching my dad get angry with other drivers until I just thought, I don't really want that pattern anymore. <laughs> it's not really mine anyway. It doesn't belong to me. So now I'm much more amicable with the world around me and I feel much more comfortable in life having seen it and dissolved it. And so it's a, a very simple thing. You know, obviously some of the patterns are much more deep and much more sinister and much more difficult to get at. But get at them, you must. And every single reaction is a perfect trigger to teach you to look for uh, the root. Why did I get upset today about that? Yeah, okay, that reminds me so much of the time that something happened to me. And you must then you think to yourself, okay, so there's still energy stuck around that idea. Let's just talk about energy for a moment. We'll go on to the second section of this. Let's open up a bit further, stretch out a bit more, look back over your shoulder. Okay, yes, yeah, so stuck energy. In Chinese medicine, blood and qi should flow well, a phrase you're no doubt very familiar with, the idea that we're exhorting our body to allow blood and qi to flow well through it. A blockage of the flow of energy is what we in the West refer to as pain. A blockage in the flow of, I, can, I guess, mental energy would be mental pain. So when things are not flowing, when there is something that's pinned you in the past, we have to unpin that, unblock that to allow the energy to flow again. Those who work with me regularly know that I love the idea of ho'oponopono. No doubt that'll pop up again today. I love the idea of us looking at a point in time, looking at a person long gone and just saying there's nothing that i can do to change you i can't change you now you're dead you know there's nothing that can happen there there's only one person i can change and that's me and so i'm going to look at that point in time where we collided and i'm going to smooth it out so that you long gone are no longer holding me pinned in the past and that's when we run through the lines of Aponopono. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And sometimes those are really hard things to say. But say them you must. And say them with real, genuine feeling and meaning. I would just like to say that the people that you have problems with in your life Okay, let's see how to phrase that. The people who create problems, in inverted commas, problems, are doing the best that they can with the limited set of tools that they have. From your perspective, you may look at them and think, everything you do is wrong. You can't do anything right. But the truth is, they're attempting to do the best they can with what tools they have available. So we take ourselves out of our own position for a little while. We think about this other person. They're always moaning. They're always complaining. They're always criticizing. They're always, you know, fill in the blanks here. But the fact is that that person is in a sad, upset place for so many multitudes of reasons. And that's the best they can do. Or perhaps all they can do is moan, see the worst in things, uh, complain about you. 
but still they're still operating with such a, a low energy system that it's impossible for them to do anything else. They can't because they can't lift themselves any further than they are. And that's very sad, but that is just their life and that is just where they're at. And you have to accept that. If you think that it's going to be any different, then that's how you create suffering for yourself. Don't create any more suffering. Let's have enough of that. And so when we say to that person, I'm sorry, we say, I'm sorry for my part of the argument. And as I was saying last week in this, we say, I'm sorry for the 1% of the engagement that is me. Maybe the 99% is you, but still there is 1% of me that's making this problem. Let's be fair. Perhaps it's not just 1%. Perhaps it's 10%. Perhaps it's 20 Perhaps it's 50 Perhaps it's 80 and you're not being honest with yourself. But anyway, I'm sorry. Please forgive me and really ask that. Please forgive me at the deepest level. Thank you for doing that. I needed letting off. I needed the release. Oh, I love you. At some deep level, we all love each other very, very deeply. You just have to allow that to come out. I really love you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I really do. No matter how difficult it might be. There's a little praise of Ho'oponopono. A little praise of other people. Other people's problems. OPP. <laughs> other people's problems. And the last thing is suffering. The world does the world. The world is just a TV show that's been put on for your amusement. And so whilst the world is just doing the world, you have to accept that. And if you say, ah, oh, the world's doing everything wrong, then you've created suffering. The world is programmed to do exactly what it is doing right now. It's never wrong. It's just your relationship to it that is difficult. So if you find yourself thinking everything is wrong in your life, that means that you are positioned incorrectly for the flow of the Tao. It means that you're gonna to have to let go of some of these things. And let's take the most obvious uh, story, a relationship that's giving you lots of problems well, you can keep on smashing your head against it. You can keep on bending and twisting it. But as we know, we can only change ourselves. There's only one thing you can do. And that's walk away. Or, you know, choose to stay. That's fine. Whatever the case may be. And so, you know, I um, had this client in mind, a uh, relationship with her father. And it was just a very sort of difficult thing. But what do you do about it? Well, just put some miles between you and that person, lessen the amount of phone calls, stop the subjects coming up that uh, cause problems, keep it light, you know, all of those things. Just change the relationship. And the other person will notice in the end and they'll say, what's happening here? And perhaps you have to have a frank conversation and say, I withdrew myself from our life because I couldn't stand you anymore. You know, that's how those things work. And then that sometimes brings about a healing or sometimes brings about even bigger break. But whatever the case may be, you have to change that to make yourself whole, to take away the difficulties. Okay, very good. Let's just slow down a little bit. Oh, goodness. Sorry, that was quite a long warm up. We'll just do a few of our forward bends and side bends. Let's gather chi because that can make you quite dizzy, that exercise. Just gather the chi and draw the energy down through your body and bring it all back into the belly. Really focus it deep inside. Gathering chi, lift chi up. Pouring chi, pour chi down. Gather and lift. Gather and pour.
Okay, let's do some forward and back bends then. We just lift up again, gather, stretch. And then gently tip over just the arms and ears, working the nape of the neck. Tip into the upper back, tip into the middle back, tip into the lower back. Body hangs and relaxes. Back of the neck, soft and relaxed. Tuck the tummy in slightly. Just allow the body to hang here gently. Extend softly down towards your toes. And release. Imagine a line between the roots of your toes. Stretch gently towards that line. And release. Working towards your insteps, stretching gently. And release. Working back towards the heels, nice deep bend. Good, relax, release, body hangs. Lift the tailbone to point up behind. Push the tailbone towards the front of the body. Roll the spine up and bring up the head and the arms and the ears. Stretching up into the blue sky, stretch up. Knees and hips drift forwards, you gently lean back. Up. And gently back. Up. And gently back. Up. And gently back. Hands up into the blue sky. Arms and ears, tip them over. Upper back, middle back, and lower back. Sink, sink, relax. Just let the body hang there gently for a moment. Just let in the back relax, neck relax, spine relax. Okay, so we're going to gently stretch down toward the toes. Soft, easy stretch down. And then release. In line with the roots of your toes. Gently stretch down, just hold for a moment. And release. Gently stretching down towards your insteps. Gradually And release. Stretch back towards your heels. And relax and release. Body gently hangs there. Lift the tailbone up behind. Push the tailbone towards the front. Roll the spine up. Take up the head and the arms and the ears. Gently drawing up, stretching up into the blue sky. Releasing knees and hips forward as you gently lean. Up. And back. Up. And back. Up. And back. Stretch hands up into the blue sky. So now arms and ears, but we keep our legs straight. So straighten the legs out. Tip over the arms and ears. Roll into the upper back. Roll into the middle back and sink into the lower back. Let the body gently hang down for a moment. Taking all the pressure and tension off the back of the neck. Okay, so stretch gently towards your toes. And then release. In line with the roots of your toes. And release. Towards your in steps, gradually deeper each time. And release. Back towards your heels. And release, body hangs and relaxes. Tailbone lifts up behind, tailbone pushes the front, spine gently rolls up, head, arms, and ears gently roll up. Stretch up into the blue sky, stretch up, stretch up. Release the knees and hips forward, you gently lean back. 
up and back, up and back, up and gently back. Hands in the blue sky, last time through. Arms and ears tip over. Upper back, middle back, lower back. We're sinking down. Body sinks and relaxes. A little extension softly towards our toes. Release. Line with the roots of our toes. And release. In line with our instep. And release in line with our heels. Good body relaxes and hangs. Lifting the tailbone up behind, push the tailbone to the front, roll up the spine, head, arms, and ears follow gently up into the blue sky. Up, up, and stretch up. Knees and hips drift forward, you lean back. Stretching up and gently back. Up and gently back. Up and gently back. Great, hands into the blue sky. So the hands drift gently down the sides of the body, drawing the hands down, sinking and relaxing. Gather chi. Lift and gather. Gently pull. Draw the cheek deep into your belly. Okay, one last set of exercises. Lift up the right hand. Exhale over to the left hand side. Breathe in as you bring your hand up. Exhale, go over. The other side of it. Breathe and lift both hands up. One hand comes down, stretch over to the other side. Breathe and lift up. Exchange the hands. Breathe out. Breathe and lift up, exchanging the hands. Our breath takes us across. Lift up. Our breath takes us across. Gathering breath in. Exchanging. Breathe in, lift up. Cross. Once more, free the side. Yeah. And then when we breathe in, lift our hands up into the blue sky. As we breathe out, we drift the hands down. Gather the chi to complete the exercise. Or chi down. Left and gather. 
gently pause. Left to the hour. And gently pause. Drawing the chi, moving the chi, going the chi deep inside. Sink the chi deep into your belly. And we relax the hands, let the cheek pour through. One more time, lift up. Pour chin down. Draw the chin, sink it deep inside. Last time, gather the hands to the belly. Just relax the hands onto the belly, deep inside. Lower Dantian Chi is abundant, blood and Chi flowing well. Mind deep inside. So we just settle into our standing posture or, or a sitting posture, lie down, whatever works best for you. We're just going to allow ourselves to settle here for a moment. Use Dr. Pang's eight phrases to settle and calm ourselves down. He suggests you make a connection from your feet deep into the earth. Imagine Earth Chi flowing up into your body. Make a connection from Bai Hui on top of your head up into the blue sky, blue sky pouring down into your body. Releasing the idea of separateness. Such a left brain function. There's only you and the rest of the world is out there trying to get you is not true we are deeply embedded in this world when you close your eyes it's quite difficult to actually exactly define what is skin what's the outside world if you think about the back of your hand your outermost hand at the moment you define exactly where the skin ends not really, because the back of the skin, the skin is the skin barrier, but there's also the way chi layer around that. Just an intimate shield of energy, if you like, around your body. Then there's your chi body. Then there's the chi of the universe. So you are sunk into this system. You are part and parcel of this system. It's impossible to really tell the difference between you and this system. You're deeply connected. Totally absorbed into this system. No difference between the outside and the inside. Everything is chi. The only mistake that people make is to not realize that they are God. Interesting idea. I mean, we have all our religious uh, texts and things that say that God is inside us. We kind of take that to be a sort of um, something nice that people say. 
The reality of it is that you are God. Everything around you is God. This oneness of everything is God. You are deeply embedded in it. You are a function of it. You are God. And if you're God, you can bring about whatever change it is that you need. But the game has us forget these facts. This game we play called life. At birth, the veil is drawn over our divinity. We forget who we are. We forget why we're here. And that's the game. Find your way through the maze to the end, to the exit, and then come back to being one with everything. Well, the sad truth is that probably 95% of our population don't bother to even try to look. When they get to the exit, <laughs> that's exactly what it is, the exit. Don't know, end of game, start again. But we can find our way to this unity consciousness in our lives and change the way our lives are. Change the way we interact with the game. Because when you see it for what it is, and when you realize that you are God, when you realize that this is a game, that's when everything starts to change. That's when you can live in total harmony with the world. That's when you can live your life in balance, true balance. It's interesting because I, I question whether bliss consciousness is actually, you know, um, in the game or out of it. Some people do live extraordinarily blissful lives. I think an extraordinary balanced life is the answer to it. Not too much happiness, not too much sadness. Just perfect equanimity, perfect balance, and a total understanding of everything. A total understanding of the workings of the universe. A total belief of being at one, where everything is a function of God. So today we have a task of fixing things in our lives. Perhaps it's very straightforward for you. Perhaps there's something you want to work with on your body. That's great. Perhaps whatever it is that you're working with on your body, it might be time to ask, how did it get there? Why? Who put it there? <laughs> I'm not thinking that has been done maliciously, but it is a pattern that has arrived in your life that has created a physicality that you don't want anymore. And so how did it get there? Who was the problem? Who is the person? So there's a, a meditation from Berkeley University in California, I think it is. And they suggest that we think of a person who we hate. Now, I think that's a really bad term, a really strong term. But it works through these kind of levels. So you start with someone who you find really exceptionally difficult. Just call this person to mind. And we'll do a slightly different version of this. Think about the person who creates the most problems in your life. I suppose you could go to a, a much more 
uber level and think about, uh, you know, a prime minister or a, a politician or a, a business person that has created problems, whatever it might be. But it would be good for someone in your life directly, I suppose. As I mentioned, it doesn't really matter whether they're alive or dead. Someone in the past has created you problems. So we can just bring our hands apart and hold a little ball of chi. Imagine this person in your hands. How would that be? Like a sort of a, a an image of their of their of the entire person between your hands. And what we're going to do is to open the hands out and let this person dissolve. So you have to work out some little image for yourself. Perhaps the, there's a you know tiny little scale model of the person between your hands, or perhaps. You can imagine standing behind them, them sitting in a chair, and you working with them in that way, like a sort of therapist, or them lying on a bed, or them standing in front of you, and all you're doing is opening your hands and letting everything dissolve. So we create this picture of this person, of this moment, perhaps. And then when we take our hands apart, we just let the whole of that dissolve. Let it go. Give this person, this energy, this moment out to the blue sky. Let it dissolve into nothingness. Feel that you can really let go at the deepest level. And then we're going to draw the hands back together again. And we're just going to resolve this problem. So how does that look to you? This person might be smiling now, might be hugging you, might be happy. This person might be uh, disappeared from your life. Doesn't really matter what it is. Just change the situation. Make it different this time. So your brain can't really tell the difference between the things you've experienced and the things you imagine experiencing bit crazy, but that's true. So you can build up this picture of everything being better in this relationship between this person who you really, really dislike. Just imagine the relationship being better, being fixed, being solid. Now, we're not going to harp on about it. We've just done this one time, letting complete go of all of the problems and then bringing back a better version of the reality. So now when we take our hands apart, we just let all the problems dissolve. We don't have to think about problems anymore. And we bring our hands back together again. We bring total healing into our life. So now we're just thinking all problems dissolve. Gather back wonderful chi to fill the hole that we created when we dissolved this problem with this person. Let the whole of your life open up and expand. Bring some healing deep inside. Kai is open. Kai is the Chinese word for open, but it also means dissolve, let go, these kind of ideas. And he is the word bringing energy back, bring in, heal, gather, I suppose. So we can say Kai and her a few times to, to change this situation. Ah. Everything is gone. Everything is dissolved. Everything is let go.
her brings this amazing healing energy deep inside your body. Oh. Just a couple more times. All the stories around this person that has been a problem in your life has just gone and dissolved and let go. Now we just bring back healing energy to fix your life. One more time. Hmm. I feel that all of the influence from this person has disappeared, no longer able to cause any problems in your life. And in this place, you've taken on fresh energy that will help you now, it will drive you along, it will give you a great new fresh start. You've kind of patched up the hole where that energy hung around, if you like. So the first time we did it, all of that chi dissolved and the space was open and the energy was released. And every time we brought back her, we filled that space with this incredible healing blue sky chi that Dr. Pang talks about. So all of the influence of that person has drained away from your life now. Gone, gone forever, doesn't need to return. And in its place, you've built up a new powerful idea, a new powerful energy space for you to work in. Fantastic. So the next person that we're supposed to work with using this idea is someone we don't even really know. Strange idea. Picking someone who you see in your daily life you don't really know who they are. Perhaps it's a work colleague, perhaps it's a shop assistant, perhaps it's the guy in the paper shop, perhaps it's the, a person who's homeless. And we just imagine this person. We'll just spend a few moments just identifying who that might be. Someone who you vaguely know. It could be a friend of a friend. Passing acquaintance. And then just think of what that person's problems might be. We have no idea really what their problems might be. Perhaps you've got an inkling of what a problem might be for that person if it's someone you vaguely know. What we're going to do is just 
dissolve their problems. We can't know what they all are. We can't even really imagine or place ourselves into that. But the intention there is just to help lift their problems. Someone who's almost a stranger to you. And we're just going to imagine that they could be perhaps between our hands or in front of us, and that what we're going to do is open our hands with Kai and let all of their problems dissolve and go away. And then we bring our hands together. We're just going to fill their lives with happiness and joy. So see this person. And then we gently dissolve all of their problems with Kai. By saying her, we fill their lives with healing energy. So even if you have an inkling of what their current problem might be, don't try to solve it. doesn't matter. You don't know. All we're doing is helping to open the energy in their lives, and then we're helping to draw fresh healing chi back into their bodies uh, to do whatever is required. So let's not be specific about it. Open the hands and dissolve. Ah. Bring back a wave of healing chi for them. All of their problems dissolve into nothing, gone and taken back into the universe. We draw a healing deep into their lives. And so just for a moment, think about this person you've been vaguely, that you vaguely know you've been working with. Think about them smiling. Think about them being happy. Think about their lives turning and changing. You don't really do anything. All you're doing is just helping the flow of chi flow more easily through their lives. Better energy to pour into their lives. So let's now think of someone who's really important to you. Think of a, a really close family member or a close relation, someone who you really hold dear in your heart, someone who could really use your chi today. So again, when we think about them, we don't have to specifically think about their problems ex exactly. You may know exactly what their problem is, but we don't really work on that level. All we're doing is letting their chi open and expand and then allowing huge amounts of healing chi to pour into their lives. Let's just focus on this person for a moment and then open and dissolve. Uh, brings amazing chi back into their lives. 
amazing healing energy to help them shift and change. Kai removes all blockages, dissolves all of the things that stand in their way, all of the barriers removed from their life. Uh, her brings incredible healing deep inside their lives. Blockages open, blockages open. Uh, Gather healing chi that flows deep into their lives to help them bring about the changes they need to make. Everything dissolves. Everything dissolves. New fresh healing chi deep inside their lives. Once more. Let's gather some beautiful energy to fill their lives. Let's just see that person with a radiant smile on their face. Joyful and happy. And then finally, it's you. Work on yourself. Let go of all of your problems as you open your hands. And then when you draw your hands back together again, the healing chi flows deep inside your life. All of your problems dissolve. Uh, Her brings fresh healing chi into your life. Uh, perhaps it brings fresh new perspective. Uh, Open, dissolve, let go, let go. Uh, populate your life with this healing chi. Uh, Just a few more times for yourself. Dissolve. Ah. Ah. Healing chi goes deep inside. Couple more. Ah. Oh. 
Last time. Just stand here for a moment. Think about these people once more. Someone who you really, really found it difficult to get along with. Someone who you know a bit and you've just been helping out. Someone in your family who really, really needed a bit of help. So finally, we're just going to think about our relationship to these people. Use Hoponopono. I'm sorry. Just think about them and say to them, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the part that I've played in this. I'm sorry that things have been this way. I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. I'm so sorry. It's an interesting thought experiment because if you're thinking about someone who you barely know, perhaps a homeless person that you pass, you have real no idea about their lives. But you're still part of the society that's created this. If you think about a close family member, you're still part of the family society that's created this. And the person who you really couldn't get on with, perhaps I was a work person, you know, you're still part of that society. No matter what, at some degree, you are still connected with these people. I'm so sorry. The deepest level, I'm sorry. For things, the way that has been, the connections that have been. I'm so sorry. With your hands on your heart, feeling deeply. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You can open out your hands with your palms facing forwards, kind of supplication. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Can you please Forgive me at the deepest level. Can you please find it in your heart to forgive me for the things that happened, the way things worked out? Please forgive me. From the depths of your heart, please forgive me. You ask with real depth of feeling. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the relief this brings to me. Thank you for allowing me to change. Thank you for shifting the energy. Thank you for being you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. And then we can bring our hands into the prayer position, perhaps in front of the heart. I love you. I love you with all of my heart. I love you. I love you with no condition. I love you. I love you. I love you.
Well, seeing as we're in this position here, we can close out our class in the Zhilang Qigong fashion. So bring the feet back together again. Step on Qi, with the hands sitting in front of the heart. Gently stretch the hands up, up in front of the face, up over the top of the head, up into the blue sky. Let your spine open up. Drift the hands gently down, soften the knees. Open up little fingers and ring fingers and middle fingers. Split the hands apart in a great wide arc, down to shoulder height. Scooping two lovely handfuls of chi, we draw the chi to the front, gathering the chi back. Send the chi in to upper dantian. Fill your brain with chi. Imagine your brain working well, every cell in your brain, totally functioning perfectly. Clear, clarity. All functions of your brain, perfect working order. Drifting the elbows back, let the hands come underneath the arms, lightly touch da bao, send chi deep inside. Middle dan tian, chi abundance, blood and chi flow well. All of the organs of your body returning to perfect working order. All of the organs of your body, perfect working order. Drifting the hands back behind, back of the hands start to move forwards. Palms turn over, send a wave of chi out into the blue sky, and then slowly gather that chi back. Beautiful ball of chi, just squeeze it deep into your belly. Hold and store this chi deep inside. Lower dantian chi abundant, blood and chi flowing well. Imagine you can sweep this chi up your spine into your brain, to your neck and your shoulders. Cascade the chi down your shoulders to your arms, to your fingertips. Fill your whole spine and your ribs. Feel the upper torso filled with chi, middle and lower torso filled with chi, down into the hips and the pelvis, the tailbone, down into your thighs, your knees, your calves, your ankles, your feet. Feel every surface of the body covered in chi. You, in this beautiful chi field, chi shield, just imagine your chi body, your wei chi layer. So the wei chi layer just around your skin, your chi body, a kind of bubble of chi around you. And you inside, every cell in your body working well, every cell in your body filled with chi. See yourself as a being of light inside your chi fields, safe, happy, well, content, everything working. Just pause for a moment here, deep inside. Think about the people we've been working with today. See their lives changing. See their story has changed. See that your relationship to them is now different. Transform your relationship. It's called Hun Hua. Dissolve and transform. Those things that happened in the past are not happening to you now. Let the past be the past. Let the past be the past. Those tendrils that reach out from the past, just cut them off. They're gone. No longer hooked into your present. We've changed the dynamic. You no longer have to feel those triggers. They are gone. Gone forever. And sometimes that can feel scary. What takes their place? Well, you've brought huge healing potential back into your body. And now we let the body do what it does best. You don't have to think about it. The body knows what to do. When you cut your finger, you don't have to think about how do I make that heal? Your body knows how to do it. So we step out of the way and we let the body do its thing because we know it will do the right thing. Blood and chi flowing well through this fantastic body of yours. Healing 
surging through the body. This vast reservoir of energy in your belly, supporting your life. All functions, normal. All functions of your life, normal. All functions, normal. Perfect working order. Big smile on your face, slowly releasing your hands down by the sides. Let's bring a bit of movement back into the body. Let's stretch out a little bit. Let's see what the body needs. If you need to do any bending, then do so slowly and carefully. Just give yourself time when you're coming back up. Just get the body to move again, stretch out and open. Ooh. And then I think we have to say how la together. Allah means good already. Everything we've done is already sorted. So um, if you unmute yourself, you'll be on the video. That's fine. And uh, this will go online. So if you don't want to be online, don't unmute. We'll say how Allah together anyway. Hands up. One, two. How. La. One, two. Ha. One, two, ha, la. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so we gather right hand up, left hand down on top, pull the fingers together, and then put the thumbs on the end. Entirety hands. Thank you very much for being here today. And as always, please share this with your friends and family and uh, send this video out around the world. And um, Thursday, tomorrow, this body mind, if anybody fancies. Otherwise, see you soon. Bye. Bye.